Welcome! This is a tutorial for fighting Teostra in Monster Hunter World. I'm going to do high rank instead of master rank because I have not reached Iceborne again and I want to make this video. Without further ado, enjoy. There are only two locations that Teostra can spawn, Elder's Recess and Wild Spire Waste. The reason why I'm mentioning this is that in the recess you will most likely fight this guy in the super hot lava areas. So make sure to bring cool drinks or just pick up some chill shrooms on the way so they auto craft. Wild Spire Waste, despite its sun beating you to the ground like you're out the fields, you won't need heat resistance. One thing to mention is Teostra will have an aura around him, specifically near his face, that will burn you whether or not you drank. Fortunately, it's only at his face, where you can maximize damage, but don't worry about it. Teostra has two forms that I like to call Blast Coat and Flame Coat. If he has official names for those forms, then I'm too lazy to correct myself. Blast form has all of his attacks leave a blast cloud, which detonates after he claps his jaws together. You'll have an indicator when hearing a faint sound akin to a hammer striking an anvil. Also when he hits you, you will be inflicted with blast blight. But don't worry, just roll three times and you'll be fine. The flame coat doesn't have much blast blight to worry about, but his fire attacks, like his flamethrower, do more damage. His aura mentioned above does come up in both coats, so keep that in mind. Now for his attacks. He sometimes likes to lunge and bite, either in place or while he's turning his whole body to look in a certain direction. When you're a good distance from him, he will either run towards you, which has a hitbox, or jump slash lunge at you. During the blast coat, the landing for the jump might cause an explosion. If you are in front of him to begin with, he will swipe at you. It's a pretty fast attack, so be careful. When you're at either of his sides, he will attempt to swing around and hit you with his front claws. When you're behind him, he'll just swipe his tail back and forth. Next is his flamethrower where he sweeps in front of him either fire or blast clouds, which again, he can detonate at will. He can also go up and use his flamethrower while airborne, kind of like carpet bombing but from a fictional dragon. He can also fly and dive bomb, potentially causing an explosion on the landing should he have his blast coat up. The next attack I like to call the Ring of You're Dead, where he takes a stance and charges up a bunch of clouds around him, looks you dead in the eyes as, and clamps his mouth shut. Finally, throughout the hunt, Teosha will roar more than once, even if he's enraged. That means he's trying to charge up his biggest attack, a fucking fire nuke. The range of this is fairly big. If you're right under him, while he's expelling all that heat, pray to your god, cause he knows he'll be seeing you soon. First off, there are a couple advantages to note here. Teosha is particularly weak to water and ice elements, so something like Girotodus or Legiana weapons respectively. He only has three weak points too, head, wings, and tail. With that out of the way, how do you fight him? To start, some of his attacks have an animation at the end, such as the flame breath and his blast detonations. Easy for head hits, right? Stay at his sides most of the time, and if he decides to turn around quickly or attack you, run to his backside. Cutting off his tail helps with preventing some blast clouds from spawning since that's one way he can make them. Staying in front is too dangerous. His random swipes are fairly difficult to read, so it's best to wait for a window of attack. If you hit his head enough though, he will stagger and fall, so at that point, show him what you're made of. For his charges, Running to the side helps a lot, and if you can manage it, most of his ground-based attacks can be rolled through. Insane, isn't it? Really comes with that euphoria of timing dodges that are 7 frames long. At least, I think it's 7. That's what everyone's telling me. But dodging isn't everything. Remember the fundamentals. Sharp weapons for the tail, then you move to the head. And blunt attacks only for the head. He does have a good weakness to stun compared to the other status effects, so keep that in mind. Oh, then there's a nuke. Here's something cool. Some weapons have an attribute called Elder Seal, which delays the buildup of an Elder Dragon's huge attack. Think of Nergigante, or even Devil Joe, both of which have high Elder Seal on their weapons. So with that knowledge in hand, using Elder Seal slows down Teosha's nuke and the buildup of his blast and flame coats too, making the hunt significantly easier. However, if you can't, don't worry, the startup of the attack is highly obvious, so either run or Superman dodge, basically running away from the monster and pressing your dodge button. I think that's it for this guy. You should have fun hunting this guy. With every monster in this game, it's good to get used to animations and taking advantage of their movesets before and after attacks. If this guy helped even one of you, I will be the happiest man on the planet. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you later.